today we will be helping James with a big issue that um, is happening with one of the lighthouses. So let's go see how we can help. It's a nightmare, Brooklyn. You have to help me. What's happened, you ask? The lighthouse on the South Hoof Peninsula has gone out. It's a complete disaster. No tourist ships will dare come close to Fort Pinta if the lighthouse isn't there to guide them. And if there are no tourists, then I don't make money. Oh, poor me. Why don't I just call the lighthouse keeper and ask what's going on? Do you think I'm stupid? Of course I've called him. I've called loads of times, and there's no answer. Something must have happened. You'll help me, though, right, Brooklyn? You will? Sweet. I ha I've had an idea. A while back, I bought a couple of really nice, cozy little boats to rent out to tourists. For some reason, though, nobody's ever hired them. Weird, going out on a boat is super fun. Or so I've been told. Anyway, you can borrow one so you can go over to South Hoof. What do you think, Brooklyn? Why don't I just go myself? Um, I'm allergic to water. Yep, that's it. So unfortunately, I can't go. The boat is down there between the pier and the beach. Good luck. Alright, let's go see the boats. Um, okay, I see where to go. Alright, I see the boats. Oh, um, that doesn't look good. Oh boy. Okay, well, um, it doesn't look like we'll be going anywhere in that anytime soon, so it looks like we have to go talk to James. Have you already been to South of Peninsula? You haven't. The boat was not working, you say? That's ridiculous. I paid ten Yorvik shillings each for those boats. Maybe there's a hole or two in the bottom, but they're just there to keep you cool while you're out on the water, like air conditioning in a car. Why do you look so suspicious, Brooklyn? Okay, okay, the, bo the boat might not be in top condition, but I have another. I rented it out to the guard at the disco so he could practice landing maneuvers at the beach or something. Why don't you go and ask him if you can borrow that one instead? Okay. I hope he lets us use it. I want to go see South Hook. And I want to fix the lighthouse. Attention! Brooklyn, how can I be of assistance to you today? What on earth? You want to borrow a boat from me? Aha, uh -huh, you mean the landing craft I borrowed in order to rehearse crucial beach storming maneuvers? Operation Iron Cockroach, as I call it. It was a terrible boat. My beach landing rehearsals became a little too realistic, even for me. No time to waste, though. I realize you're on an important mission, Brooklyn, so I hereby submit my report of Operation Iron Cockroach. At 4.07 yesterday morning, I was out at sea off Fort Pinta. Carefully and silently, I approached the beach. Just next to the diving board, I saw a guard post. The element of surprise was lost, and my position uncovered, so I went full speed ahead to get to the shore before the enemy had a chance to react. Suddenly, I heard a huge explosion. A mine, I thought, so I threw myself straight into the water. I then realized that the fuel tank on the landing craft had exploded. I swam to land and retreated to the fort. The enemy guard revealed himself in better light to be a particularly suspicious-looking bush, so no actual danger was present, and I gave myself the order to stop the exercise. How did it go with the boat? Oh, I've got no idea. I haven't had a chance to run recon over the terrain, the terrain yet. I mean, I've got light bulbs to change and the disco ball to pol polish first. Hmm. During my retreat, I saw Ellen running towards me. She's the lifeguard down on the beach below Fort Pinto. You could always ha ask her if she saw what happened to the boat. Alright, will do. I like the name Iron Cockroach. <laughs> Lovely day today, wouldn't you say? Hi, my name's Ellen, and I'm the lifeguard here at the beach. What's your name? The guard's accident? I knew it was him sneaking away through the bushes. He looked pretty baffled. Did I see what happened to his boat? Yeah, when I heard the explosion, I ran over so I didn't see the actual accident. But whatever ends up in the water here usually drifts ashore on the peninsula past the beach. If his boat didn't sink, it's pretty sure to have ended up there. If you find the boat, please let me know. I have to check so that it's not a danger for the, for the swimmers. Okay, so... Alright, it looks like... Oh, it's right here. Oh boy, that looks like it's in pretty bad shape. Okay, well, um, how are we going to get to the peninsula now? Did you find the boat? Bits of it, you say. 
Why are you so interested in a wonky old boat like that anyway? Oh, you need a boat to get to South Hoof? And James's other boat is in pretty much the same shape? Hmm, maybe you can repair the boat with the parts from the wreck here. Worth a try, right? It's pretty quiet here right now, so I can help you if you'd like. If the other boat is broken too, you'll probably need parts to fix it. Maybe there's some stuff from the wreck you can use. I'll go and take a look at your boat while you look for parts here on the beach that you can use. What do you say? Great. Have a look on the little peninsula where you found the wreck. Everything that sunk has probably washed ashore there. I'll see you at the jetty where your boat is later. Oh, okay. Let's go look for some parts. Okay, I see one right here. Oh, I didn't see it, but I clicked it. <laughs> Okay, um, we need five parts. Okay, here is the last one. Alright, so... Okay, so to the original boat. Alright, we got all of the parts. Hi again, looks like you found loads of useful stuff. We'll definitely be able to use this. Well, Brooklyn, I don't see there being any problems with sealing the whole of your boat with the parts we have here. We just need to get hold of some kind of glue or sealant to hold it all together. The engine is a different story. You'll need to find the Rex engine if you're going to have any chance of fixing it. You didn't see an engine on the peninsula, you say? I guess it sank when the fuel tank exploded on the guard's boat. It's probably on the seabed out by the diving board at the beach. Have a look there and see if you can salvage it. Here's the anchor from the boat. Perhaps you could use it as a fishing hook to, hook to fish up the engine. Use the rope to fish out the engine. Come back once you've found it, and I'll see if I can find a way to use these parts you found in the meantime. Alright, I'm not sure how well this will work, but we can always try. <laughs> okay, where do we go? Oh, over here. Alright, so how is this going to work? So we use the anchor the rope and hook. Oh, okay. So we're fishing. Not a bite. Oh my goodness, is that a shark? How are we going to do this? There's a shark right there. Oh, it's, it looks huge. Oh, okay. We, we found the boat engine. What about this shark? I don't want to get too close. <laughs> Alright, let's head back to Ellen. Nice work! Now we have enough spare parts, and then some. Oh, okay. A barrel of sealant. I reckon I should be able to get the engine going for you, Brooklyn. I was a mechanic at the Yorvik City Scrapyard before I became a lifeguard here. I hardly ever saw the sun at that scrapyard, so changing careers was pretty much the best decision I ever made. Anyway, I saw a barrel of sealant further down the pier. That should do the trick for sealing up the hole. It should have been delivered to my friend Donald, the builder, in Jarlheim, but it's been sitting there for weeks now, so I guess the ferry captain must have forgotten about it. Would you ride over and get it? I'll text Donald, I'll text Donald now and ask him if it's okay if we use it. I'm sure he'll say yes, so ride over and grab it now. Well, well, I'm sure we'll get this engine started eventually. I've got some tools you can borrow, but maybe you could do me a favor in return. Yesterday night, I took a little dip down by the jetty on the other side of Fort Pinto. It was pretty late, around the same time the guard was out on his adventure in the boat. When I heard the explosion, I ran to the beach as quickly as I could, but I ended up leaving my clothes behind. Do you think you could go grab them for me? Thanks, Brooklyn. Alright, let's go get the sealant first, and then we can get her clothes. Okay, which dock is it on? Because there are like four docks. <laughs> Oh, okay, it's right here. It's so small, I thought it'd be in a bigger barrel. Oh, wait, what is this? Let's check this out. Fort Pinta Ferry Landing. You've discovered the Fort F Pinta Ferry Landing. When you've found docks that connect to one another, you can use this ferry to travel faster over long distances. You need to be a star rider to use the ferry. Oh, okay. You discovered a fairy landing. Okay, I guess we'll have to see what that's used for in the future? I don't know. 
but let's go get her clothes. Alright, we're searching for her clothes. No, oh no, I'm stuck! Okay, we're good now. Alright, so we found nothing! <laughs> Oh no, we found nothing. Okay, yay, we got them. So, shoes, a shirt, and shorts. All right, we got everything. Oops, I'm standing inside of her. Exactly, that's the barrel I was talking about. Oh, speak of the devil, a text from Donald. He wrote that he writes that we should just take as much sealant as we need. If there's something that there's never a shortage of, it's sealant, he says. That sounds good, Brooklyn. Donald usually knows what he's talking about. Oh, thanks, Brooklyn. They're my favorite clothes, so I was a bit worried they might have gone missing. Okay, uh, seal the boat. Now you just need to use the sealant to seal the whole of the boat. With... The parts from the wreck you found earlier, you shouldn't have any problems making it watertight. I'll wait here, just ask if you need anything. And then boat engine repairs. Here are my tools, Brooklyn. I haven't really used them since I left the scrapyard in your Vic, but there's they're still good con they're still in good condition, as I'm sure you'll notice. You know how to repair an engine, right? Haha, <laughs> of course you do. Sorry I even asked. Good luck and let me know if you need anything. Uh, I'm not really sure if I know how to repair an engine, but I'll I'll try it. So okay, we have to dismount. All right. So the ceiling. Oh no! <laughs> Wait, where do I put this? Okay, right here. There we go. Ooh, it looks fancy. Now we have to repair the engine. Oh, I hope Chip can come with us. I don't know if he'll fit, though. Alright, so we got the engine. Apparently I do know how to fix an engine. <laughs> Great, the hole isn't going to let even a drop of water in now. You're not a bad mechanic. You could get a job at the scrapyard if you wanted. The engine looks brand new. There we go, Brooklyn. Now your boat is as good as new. All you need now is to fill the tank with fuel, and off you go. Fuel? Did you not get any fuel from James? Well, without fuel, you won't be able to go far. It's probably best you ride to him and ask for him for some. I need to get back to lifeguarding on the beach now, but it was really nice to meet you. Nice to be able to use my old skills again as well. That doesn't happen much anymore. Haha. <laughs> good luck over at South Hoof. See you around. Okay, I completely forgot that we needed fuel, um, but I mean, that might be helpful. Just the thought, though. Hey, Brooklyn, have you already been over to South of Peninsula? You need fuel for the boat, you say? Hmm, fuel is so expensive. You sure it's necessary? Can't you row? Okay, okay, I get it. If the lighthouse doesn't light back up again, it'll be a disaster for my business. I don't have much in the way of cash flow right now, though, Brooklyn. Don't you have some ideas about where you could get hold of some cheap fuel? Steve? He's got a huge fuel tank, you say? Do you think you could get some from him? Great idea, Brooklyn. That way, it'll be free. Quick, ride over to Steve t and get some fuel. No time, no w t no time to waste. Alright, let's go back to our old buddy Steve. Hello there, Brooklyn. Fuel? Well, of course, I'm sure we can arrange something. You need some fuel, you say? Well, I'm sure I can spare some for you. After all, what are friends for? I actually need to fuel up some of my ma machines, too. You know what? Take these two empty fuel cans, Brooklyn. Fill them both up, and you can keep one of them. Does that sound okay? Good. See you soon. Alright, two cans for the price of one. That seems like a pretty good deal to me. So let's fill them up. Alright. Can number one's filled. And can number two is filled. 
I can't wait to go to South Hoof. <laughs> all right, Steve, we're all done. Two cans of fuel. One for me, one for you. It was a delight to see you again, Brooklyn. Here is your can of fuel, filled to the brim with top-notch fuel. Good luck, and say hello to James from me. All right, will do. All right, we're back. Hey, Brooklyn, did you get some fuel from Steve? A whole can for free? Haha, <laughs> that Steve's got no idea how to do business, but you don't hear me complaining. What are you waiting for, Brooklyn? Ride down to the boat, fill her up with fuel, and set sail to South Hoof Peninsula. Hurry, because without tourists, Fort Pinta is going to go under. Or, well, at least my businesses will. Bye! Alright, I cannot wait to go explore South Hoof. And we need to fix the lighthouse, or else James's business is or his businesses are going to go downhill. So, let's go fill up the tank. Alright, here we go. Filling up. <gasps> Yay! The fuel tank on the boat's engine is now full to the brim with fuel. It's finally time to cast off and set sail for South Hoof Peninsula. Okay, uh, South Hoof Ferry Landing. <gasps> oh, you steer the boat towards South Hoof Ferry Landing. I think Chip can come with us, yay! Drive the boat to South Hoof Peninsula. The path heads upwards, maybe there'll be some someone further along it. Oh my goodness. Okay, is there anyone up here? I don't see anyone. Ooh, South Hoof Peninsula. Oh, a bucket, okay. Oh my goodness! I love it! Ooh, another bucket. Ooh, there are some new horses for sale. South Hoof Farm. It's so cute! There are some cows over there. Oh, okay, this way. Oh no, the mailbox! Okay. Ooh, some chickens and pigs. There's not a single person on the farm. You listen, but all you can hear is the wind whistling through the grass. Sadly, I will have to end the video here, but I am so excited to continue these quests in the next episode. And before I go, um, put your ideas for a horse I should buy in the comments. Um, I will also put a question box on my Instagram story. Um, so, yeah, feel free to drop some suggestions of a horse breed and s some names. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!